Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asit Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trevor Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know. Gang, gang. Now, your girl has been missing in action. And that is because work has been quite hectic. And I've had... February had was that month. February was a month for me. I had come full circle here and I just needed some form of space. Now, happy new month, guys. We are officially in March. This is my first March face sit down kind of video. So I'm happy to be back. And so on today's video, we are going to be talking about the burial rites that have been scheduled for the late Herbert Wigwe, his wife and his son. And I think it's scheduled for, for it's a six day burial rite and also the impact this new report has on on the um saga that had to do with his church and his death okay so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i did a video um past talking about why you know why i felt it was very insensitive for his pastor's wife to go ahead and hold that kind of birthday and not just hold the birthday she actually brought flavor so that was the angle i went with and i called also openly for the church to suspend her and to put things right. That will give us hope. You know, those people that are new believers to know that there's structure in the kingdom, we take these things seriously, okay? So, so recently the family released the burial rights and what was glaring for a lot of us was the fact that RCCG City of David Parish was excluded. Yes, there were other parishes that were included, but the City of David Parish, which is the infamous one where um, the pastor's wife celebrated the birthday and invited flavor, which is also his own church, they were excluded. And I find that it gave me some form of peace, maybe peace knowing fully well that these are not just issues where we brush under the rug imagine if this guy was alive for any of his um maybe even his wife if his wife was alive i don't think they would have done the birthday like that and all of that so um i like the fact that they went ahead to do this at least to honor his memory and also for the sake of closure for his young children that are left behind and his parents. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So it says, RCCG City of David Parish excluded as family releases six-day burial rites for Wigwe wife and son. The family of the late Herbert Wigwe, the former group um, chief executive officer of Access Holdings PLC, has announced arrangements for his burial rites. The banking guru and his wife, Chizoba, and son died in a chopper crash in the U.S. on February 9th. According to the funeral announcement, the Wigways will begin with a celebration of the professional legacy of the former GCEO of Access Holdings at Eco Hotel in Lagos on March 4th and will um, end with an outing um, service at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Lion of Judah Parish, Ishiopo, Equary Local Government in River State on March 10th. So it's from 4th to 10th. For those of you that do not know, um, Wigwe is from River State. He's an Equary guy. It was... Oh, Jesus. Wigwe was from um, River State. Uh, yeah. That's so painful. That's the thing with death and... The reality of it, just knowing that it's it's past tense, the person is is was. That's really painful. The lives of um, Cheesy and Chizoba will be celebrated in separate ceremonies scheduled for March fifth at the Echo Hotel in Lagos before a night of tribute a day later at the same venue. A combined service of songs will be held March seventh at the RCCG Resurrection Parish Lekki followed by a Christian wake up at the Wigwe University Ishiopo Equary Local Government. The combined funeral and private interment service are scheduled for March 9th. Um, the city of David Parish of RCCG, where the late Wigwe's worshipped, was conspicuously excluded from the burial program after the senior pastor's wife, Siju Iluyomade, Ilu held the talk of the town birthday, just days after his demise, many Nigerians have argued that the cleric's wife, who was like a spiritual mother to the Wigwes, should have postponed her birthday party due to the unfortunate um, incident. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So for me, I feel like this is going to give the children closure beyond the fact that you just saw their father as, as a money bag. You just saw their father as 
yet another donor if they went ahead to just act like the pastor's wife didn't disrespect the memory of um the wigways it would have been hurtful and a, a, a kind of a traumatic situation for those that are young. He has three, I think, three children left behind. And that is going to be crazy. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. I think they did very well by doing this. And um, one thing I saw that uh, my friend sent me earlier, I didn't want to comment on it until I was very sure. You know, when it comes to things of, of um, church proceedings and the backstory, it first comes out as a rumor. So rumor has it. That's what I would say. Because this was as a 26th of February. Where this person tweeted this. He said that Pastor E.A. Adeboye has um, written Pastor I.D. Ilu Yomade and his wife to resign as regional head of a papa family and hand over to his son. Pastor I.D. Ilu Yomade has written back to Ade, um, Adeboye that they won't resign. They are also threatening to pull out of Redeem and rename the new Trinity Towers building because majority of the loan they took on it was done by an SPV owned by them. So somebody wrote no grief for anybody and he replied, na, ma, na the motto for the year, bro. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Even just reading that there was an attempt at cautioning the pastors, whether um, successful or not, also puts me at ease because the truth is... Um, Nobody, um, nobody is going to tell a pastor how to run his churches. But I feel like the growth of our, our RCCG is acting both for and against them to an extent where these pastors are not being called to order. The other time we had, um, we saw one of these um, on Instagram where an RCCG pastor, I'm going to try to look for that and play it. Yes, a drama that happened in church today. He practically was about to lead prayer and then somebody that he impregnated came into church. Oh. So shall we please bow our heads as we pray? Bow down for prayer in your mouth. I don't understand. You think as a joke? Excuse me, you think you can get me pregnant? I'm just, I don't understand. People like you can sit here on the altar and stop, please don't touch me. Who are you? You can sit here on the altar and don't touch me. Stop, don't touch me. Don't let me see my mind, please. I've been calling this guy since January. What does he want to do about the pregnancy? He's telling me that I should terminate it. No, don't talk. Leave me alone. Can you just leave me? Do you know part of the guys that we are the club with us? Why are you acting like this? I don't say what I saw you singing. Please, just leave me. Let me talk. Please, can you leave me alone? See, you know my house address, right? My mom is expecting you in my house tomorrow. You have to come. This, let me take my hand. Very much. These are happening because the locations are so spread apart. The people that are ordaining these people, we don't know. We don't know who is following them up. Yes, he might have been anointed and a spirit-filled brother at the first time when they saw him and ordained him. But as, as a human, he needs constant watch, constant. Every mentor has a mentor. And I feel like after a while, they deviate from the calling of the church and start doing whatever it is that is their own work. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So this is basically um, what we heard. And for me, I feel, yes, um, it is a welcome development, especially for and a lesson. Because if, if um, this thing had happened and there was no consequence, you can imagine what the next one would have been like. The next one would be way, way worse. And then a lot of people raised um, very, you know, very strong points to say, if this was how they, they, they disrespected the legacy of somebody as well known as the Wigways, talk more of any other normal pastor. Or a normal deacon that probably might have died in the church. What, what what was the you know what was their memory like? You understand what what were the pastors doing? What was set in place? But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Our hearts and thoughts um and prayers, of course, goes to the Wigwe family. I think today it's three a.m. here in um, Canada, so I'm sure they are well into um the rites and the arrangements for the funeral that is supposed to start today. So um I wish them. Um, God's comfort, you know, the Holy Spirit is our comforter, that's all. It's, this is not something that any human can explain. This is not something that anybody can explain. So I wish you comfort from God. I wish you um, that warm feeling, you know, the, the feeling that only the Holy, Holy Spirit can give. And um, I know that, yes, it might seem like where I'm talking about the weak ways, you know, different people, I might not know who is watching, 
and who probably has lost somebody there to them. Um, I was also talking about losing one of my big sis um, back there in um, Port Harcourt Royal Touch event. At about the same time, I think she died the next week after Wigwe. And people have lost people. So um, I pray that God will strengthen each and every one of you. I pray that God will comfort you. I don't know who needs the prayer. Um, I think when I did the last video, somebody had even posted, I think on TikTok, that she lost her dad. And one thing I mentioned there about telling people not to just, you know, when you see somebody that has lost somebody, say, oh, no, just forget about it. Stand up, stand up, you know. That is not even Christian-like. That's not something to say. As much as we cannot deliberately say, having not been in your shoes, to say we know how you feel, I cannot know how you feel. You understand? So only God knows and I pray that God will comfort you. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Um, as we continue to watch the events of unfold, um, I will let you guys know when the church probably provides a closure concerning this. Or like I said, I'm, I'm suspecting on the other hand that they want these proceedings to just go and let this man rest and his family rest instead of bringing more backlash and chaos the week of his burial guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below that would um for me that's the excuse i'm, I'm giving and i feel like that would be a very smart one to do um let's allow him rest we can fight about church leadership and changing and suspension and whatever afterwards after he has been properly laid to rest and the morning period is over all right thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video i just thought to give you guys this update as we follow the events um on ground i'm owing you guys a lot of videos i know i know i know god help me to be able to post each and every one of them but thank you so much for having faith and always coming back i appreciate you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as usual please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys